Collecting late, missing, or makeup assignments can be a little tricky. With so many students learning remotely, this adds an extra layer of complexity to the situation. How's a teacher supposed to know what student has completed a missing assignment, which assignment was completed, or what program to check to find it? This video will show you how you can set up a Google Form for a group of teachers that students can use to let their teachers know when they've completed a late, missing, or makeup assignment. We'll set up a simple Google Form that students can use to let their teacher know what they've completed, and our form will send that teacher an email notifying them immediately. Let's get started. So let's come into Google and set up a form that students can use. We'll give our form a name, and then we'll enter some of the information we would like to collect. Obviously, we want to collect the student's first name and last name, so the teacher will know who they're receiving work from. We'll also need a list of teachers for students to choose from. Maybe this is a list of teachers on a single grade level, or a department team, or perhaps it's the entire school. We also need the student to select their teacher's email address. We can manually type them in, which isn't too much of an issue. But if you have a lot of emails, then it may be best to copy and paste them from a list, so you don't have to type each one in. And finally, we need the student to describe what late or missing work has been completed. That's it for our form. Now we just need to set up our responses to send an email to the specific teacher the student has selected. So now we need to scroll to the top and click on Responses. Then we'll click on the green icon to create a spreadsheet for our responses. There's nothing here yet, but that's okay. We can go ahead and get it set up. But the first thing we need to do is go to the Add-on tab and select Get Add-ons. We'll search for a form mule and we'll install it. Once installed, it will appear under the Add-on tab. Now let's launch Formula. We'll select our sheet, then we'll choose the trigger that best meets our needs. I'm setting this up to send an email to the teacher immediately after a student submits the form. But you can also set it up to send it a specific date or time, or at certain intervals. Next, we'll set up our email template by clicking the blue button. We're going to keep this as simple as possible and just use one template. So we'll leave everything alone here and click the blue button at the bottom to save our settings. Once our choice saves, then we can move on to the other blue button and edit our template. We'll build our email template in the yellow area and we'll use the add merge tags on the right to help put our email together. Let's click on the to field. What information needs to go here is the teacher's email address. So we then click on the tag that has that information. Then we probably want to give our email a subject. I'm just going to call it late slash missing work submission. And now we can build the body of the email by using our tags. Just by clicking on the tag, it adds them into the body of the email. You can add space between them as needed. By clicking the gray Save and Preview button, you can see what your email will look like before it actually sends. Now, in order for you to see what it will look like, I've already submitted a dummy response. You may want to do this as well, so you're better able to preview what it actually looks like. If you're happy with the result, click that blue Save and Send All button. You're done. Now, whenever a student submits the form, it will automatically generate an email based on the template you've created. On the spreadsheet, you'll see a column that is now titled Template-Send Status. You can check this column for each response if you need to verify that an email has been sent. Here's what a copy of the email a teacher receives will look like. I hope this helps make uh, collecting late, missing, or makeup work from a student a little bit easier.